All right. Um, earlier we start what six minutes behind the time. Um, I might fall, but I forget my pen in the next spot. And without this, I couldn't write. So I had to go and get it and come back. So I'm kind of throw it back. And I kind of hate to start these things late. You know, it's have a nice system. I also didn't send the, um, you know, y'all accustomed seeing that the live is about to begin. Yeah, that, I didn't put that on. So here's what y'all will do me a favor and just send out these, take a, take a screen. You know how long I do this? Take a screenshot of this and tag me on Instagram if you have Instagram or TikTok. So take a screenshot of this and say we're studying, we're revising. And tag it on Instagram. I don't know if it could work on TikTok. Yeah, you could do them kind of things on TikTok. Like you could do a story. TikTok have a story. If you could do that story on TikTok, organize. Um, that's not I'm up. I'm up. See if I could get a good pose here. No, I like to take the screenshot now. <laughs> all right, all right. So, well, good to have you all. How many of you all have been here for the last three days? Two days? Last two days? Today's the three, third day. We're going until Friday and we are um, studying algebra. So, if you're here for the first time, welcome. We're going to put on a little walk on the algebra. Big up Summer Lee. Um, anybody else here for the last two days? I I think I should do something for the physics people, you know. Maybe you could do something for physics. Maybe you could do something for the other subjects. What other subjects you all think we could bring on? I could I could also ask another teacher from the student have to come on and we could get this done. I feel like we could do something and I say something, say something. Felicia, we got Felicia and AAC and Sage and Destiny and all these people. We're going to start in a couple minutes. Those of you all who are watching after this stream, you all could skip ahead to where we start. Um, any other announcements that I make by well by now you all should probably have done media order for the formula booklet so make sure you have your mathematics formula booklet by now you should have done register for the student of crash course so make sure you register for the crash courses at the ending of April last three weeks or so in April well what crash course are you doing with the student of anybody doing maths physics POA POB you all ready for the crash course Get ready for the crash course, ladies and gentlemen. So simplify the expression is our first thing. So what we're going to do today is we're going to focus on this topic. We're going to focus on the topic of indices. Of, of course, we are in algebra, but we're looking specifically at indices, indices in algebra. So another word for indices. What is another word for indices? Or another word for indices? <laughs> another, another word. I pull up in my other, other bends. What's that? What's another word for indices? Another word for indices. That's with E. The next one would start with um, P. Um, exponent says Somali. Well done, Somali. Um, power says Brianna. Very good. So we're all talking about the same thing when we say indices, exponents, powers. And that is really like if you say 2 to the power of 3, that is 2 times 2 times 2. We know that, which is actually 8, which is actually 8. But we can use it in letters too. We can say x to the power of 3 is x times x times x. 3x is multiplied by each other. So it's very intriguing in this, is this topic because it kind of takes what we have been learning with addition and multiplication to one step further. So you may have been told that multiplication is repeated addition. Anybody ever hear about that? Multiplication is repeated addition. That's something they're supposed to tell in standard two and standard three. Meaning, um, instead of saying three times four, instead of saying um, four plus four plus four, that's a repeated addition three times, we can use multiplication. Well, in the C's, and let's put an X to the power of A here to show that it's an exponent. In the C's, that's repeated multiplication. Indices is actually repeated multiplication. So yeah, oh, it's probably repeated by repeated. Oh, I just spell it here, right, right, right. Repeated, repeated multiplication is indices. So instead of saying, uh, let's say four times four times four, we are going to say four to the power of three sometimes called cube for short. So if you understand that first basic piece of indices type, I understand in the chat, that's what indices is about. 
but because of that excuse me that um power that thing with indices uh, we we do we get some rules we get some rules that happen for example if i said two times two and i uh, that's two squared right and i decide to multiply it by another two times two times two that's two cube how many twos are multiplying each other here we can see that that is two by five two to the power of five right which is two times two and then we could just you know just join in that multiplication in the dance this is actually a rule i don't know if you've been taught about it like this but it's as simple as simple as that that's a ruling indices how many of you all saw this rule this ruling indices um like a to the power of how is paid by a to the power of n plus a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n plus m or you may have seen it like x to the power of a not plus multiply multiplied by x to the power of b is equal to x to the power of a plus b so when we multiply we end up adding powers because remember indices is repeated multiplication is that making sense to you so 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 is not 2 to the power of 6 it means we have a total of five twos multiplying by itself so it's actually 2 to the power of 5. so those in the student hope you all know we went through that in a whole class and that kind of thing right so you know the you know the you know the drift and it works out really nice with division and stuff too you know there's a rule for division if we if we do a division let me show you and it may um it's supposed to raise your pause and thing get your pause ready ready to raise if i say two to the power of three divided by two to the power of two right that's really two times two times two that's not let me wait for this board to catch up on me it's coming earlier right uh, all, all over two times two so all you know about this we could just cross out cross out cross out cross out we end up with one two living so really division is subtract pause yes adele yes Somali. Somali could come and be a teacher here all kind of thing next year Somali teaching this two to the power of three minus two so if you divide powers must have the same base eh? like you notice we see need two repeated there eh? that's the same as subtraction that's our next rule so like x to the power of a divided by x to the power of b is equal to x to the power of a minus b we're learning laws of indices here that's what they call the laws of indices that's what they mean when they're talking about the laws of indices and i could introduce you to i i, I inadvertently introduce you to another law there now three minus two is what two to the power of one which is the one living two you have there so that is two to the power of one is two it turns out that any number raised to the power of one is itself because you are saying don't multiply the number by itself more than one time just have the one living number right there so a to the power of one is a that's another law so let me erase this wait for it to finish erase and recap some of the laws that we know we are now professionals in i'm i'm erasing right now all right so what do we know we know that if we multiply we should add we know that if we divide we should we should subtract and if we raise to the power of one best just write the number by itself watch this if i i want to share something here come close to the screen come close to the screen close enough that i press the like button <laughs> uh if i have two to the power of three and i divide it by two to the power of three right that's like two times two times two all over two times two times two what's the answer there what is the answer two to the power of three divided by two to the power of three well according to the rule you'd have to minus so this is three minus three three minus three is what two to the power of zero but what happens when you have the same thing on the numerator and on the denominator cross 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 
everybody cross out. So what you end up with? A lot of people saying zero. But it's not zero. If I told you two divided by two, that is zero. Two divided by two is what? One. So two by two divided by two by two is still one. All of this is going to cross out to give you one. And that's kind of amazing. That is very instructive. And that is the most confusing law for, for, the, for the novices when they now start indices. You tell them, if I raise a number to the power of zero, don't put zero, put one. And they're like, why? That is why. Come like a dividing number by itself. A to the power of zero is one. X to the power of zero is one. Brianna, noose to the power of zero is one. Anything raised to the power of zero is one. So that is another law in recent time. We'll add in that law number 40. That's some other fancy laws to add into you know. dun, 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 dun. We nearly done with the laws there. Yeah. How do you make this study in going? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 So x to the power of zero is one. Anything raised to the power of zero is one. There are some other laws. There is a negative law. For example, x to the power of negative e is the same as one over x to the power of positive e. And I could show you how this comes into being too. You all want me to show you the reason? Oh, sorry. I, I, put, I put A here. It's supposed to be an X. I blame it on the cupcake I ate before, uh, before I start this thing. So, I'm going to show you how this negative law, the idea behind this. Chin, 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 chin. Well, okay, let's watch this. What, what about if I have 2 squared divided by 2 to the power of 5? Let's check out what's going to happen here, right? 2 times 2 and 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. I need a little extra space for next 2 day. Then we do the cross out. Do, 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 do. Ending up here with 1 over them 3 to survive on the underneath day. That is really 1 over 2 cube but what was this this is really 2 to the power of and we subtract it because we divide in this is really 2 to the power of 2 minus 5 2 minus 5 is 2 to the power of negative 3 2 minus 5 is negative 3 so you understand how we could prove 2 to the negative of something is 1 over 2 to the positive of the same thing or any number Raise that negative power if you want to make the power positive. You just flip him around. So they can ask you outright about these laws. They can ask you about these laws right um, outright. Or they can ask you them in questions like this. So this is the most common idea. You will get a question looking like that, and you have to simplify, but you have to remember your, your exponents. You have to remember your exponents. There's another law. Was it, those of you all who's well studied and you know efficient in this, um, who we have here, Felicia, Vandana, Malik, Shalia, Lanisha, Samali, Abdel. What is the missing law? What is the, the, the main missing law that I'm missing here, boy? You all know it? There's another law. Everybody in the chat, make sure and like up the stream, Abdel says. There's a next law of indices that's missing here. What is that law about? You all know about that one? Everybody racking their brain right now. What, what, what a law missing? There's a next little important, the square thing. Well done, Samali. Samali Lashley is our boss, boy. Lashley, that name ring a bell. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and I, I, not, I don't mean from class. I mean, yeah. I just realized something there, Somali. Somali, I know you from somewhere else. Six. Do, 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 six. So the square root law, the square root law thing, yes, there is a multiply law. Shalia is also correct. So we could we could train that law on them there too in the summer. I could show you the square root law, but um, I don't think our time fate right now. Why it is, what, how this came about. If you raise a number to a fraction, fractional power, just 
that's square root the number like if the denominator is two you get the square root if the denominator is three you get the cube root the denominator is four you get the fourth root so that is that and then there's this power if you send them up a power and then you take the whole thing and you send them up a next power a power to a power well then that is when you had to multiply the two of them a times b is the answer so that's it that's the laws you will that's the main laws you'll come across in csec maths using all of those laws all of your forces come together they all your infinity stones come together seven fingers um unlike five and you would be able to solve any in the C question so okay let me see how we're going to use the, these laws to solve this question by the way we're actually using we're actually using some of the laws in previous days right monday tuesday well in case you can't see it what we have here is 4x squared multiplied by 3x to the power of 4. so the 4 and the 3 multiplied as the numbers the coefficients they multiply so we get 12 but the x squared is multiplying by the x to the power of 4 so the common mistake is to put x to the power of 8 but what we know about when we multiply in powers like that same base multiplying you just add this is actually x to the power of 6 and this is 6x cubed now we're in a situation where we are dividing so 12 divided by 6 is 2 x over six, x to the power of 6 divided by x to the power of 3 is not x to the power of 2 because when we divide in we subtract the power so 6 minus 3 6 minus 3 I see somebody over x squared 6 minus 3 is 3 so it's actually x cubed so you easy just to make some mistakes there all right let me go next one I'm going on to page 2 here um p cube q squared multiply by p multiply by q to the power of five so we have this p coming to meet that p we're gonna add the powers right this is like p to the power of one any number by itself is to the power of one so what we have so far p to the power of three plus one my q to the power of two plus five everyone should have in the chat here this should be p to the power of four by q to the power of seven if you understand type i understand you understand so um well, let's recap the laws again tell me if you can remember them if we have x to the power of a and we multiply by x to the power of b what happens if we have x to the power of a and we divide by x to the power of b what happens If we have x to the power of 1, what is that answer? So we addition for this one. We subtract for this one. x to the power of 1 is any number to the power of 1. You write back the number. If we go to the power of 0, we have 1. It doesn't matter what it is. Triangle to the power of 0 is 1. Then if we use a negative power to turn it into a positive power we should do the reciprocal if we have a fractional power let's say one over i'm not going to put two now i'll put m here or let's use the a since we are using a all the time then this is the a root so you put a and you put x in the bracket there you understand so far so good everything lock and the, the idea with this, for those of y'all who are really inquisitive, is that, like, if I have x to the power of 1, it's the same as x to the power of a half by x to the power of a half. Because according to the first rule, a half plus a half is 1. Y'all agree with this? x to the power of 1 is the same as x to the power of a half multiplied by x to the power of a half, according to the first rule. But let's say x was 16. What two numbers multiply to give you 16? 4 times 4. It means if I'm going to the power of a half, I am actually finding the square root. I'm finding the number that, when multiplied by itself, will give me the number that I'm looking for. 
And there's a similar idea like this that carries on for the third root, fourth root. So all these things make sense. It makes sense. Rate out of 10, how much you understand everything so far with indices. Let's go on to page three. So once again, we need to simplify. We have 3x squared multiplied by 4x to the power of 3 divided by 2x. 3x squared multiplied by 4x to the power of 3 divided by 2x. All right, let's deal with the numbers. So 3 by 4 is 12. They're not the same question. I feel like we do this question already, boy. All right, well, fine. 3 by 4 is 12. X squared by X cubed. Add the powers, folks. Don't multiply in the exam. Add the powers. And then we have 2X here. So far, so good? What happened is that the X squared met with the X cubed, and it was like, hey, both are we are the same base, boy. So we could add up. We don't multiply. When we multiply in, same base we add the powers so this is x is equal to 2 plus 3 x to the power 5 and well the numbers the coefficients they just multiply the same way of course 2 could go into 12 6 times and of course now we have a situation where you have x over 5 divided by x to the power of 1 when you are dividing you subtract powers so this is actually x to the power 4 y'all if you are again there's two marks in the exam there's two marks luck two marks luck I feel like everybody in this life going and get blessed up with this two marks in the exam. Let's go to page four. Let's go to page four. So, uh, Alia, right now, Esther is the um, <laughs> Esther is the director here. Esther get take up with the lesson there, you know. Esther was like, yes, it's making sense. Again, that two marks in the exam. So she forget to turn the page. <laughs> All right, all right. So 3P squared multiply by 4p to the power of 5. Once again, we multiply the numbers. 3 by 4 is 12. p squared by p to the power of 5. This is p, and we understand the 25 needs to add. It starts to become really easy. From the time they start to reach like super easy level, you know, you're, you know, you're cooking it Ramco gas. Day. So p squared, p to the power of 5. Lovely, lovely. This one has a little more sauce about it. It have a little more sting in it. So we're going to get a little more fun with this. It's not hard to see. Remember, we don't really have anything for division. And we, um, when you look behind any book bag and thing, you see nothing for division. They never really teach you anything for division ever in life. You know? We don't really know what to do here. We, we, for division, we have to do multiplication with, with algebra. And when you switch it to multiply, you reciprocate. And now we're ready for them. Look upon your neighbor and say you're ready for them by names. So we could do we could think of this as crossing out. For let's work with the numbers first. Four into four, one, four into twenty, five. All day, every day. Three could go into three one times, and three goes into twenty-one, seven. All day, every day. Now, be careful when you're crossing out here, right? Because remember, when you're dividing, it's like you're subtracting. So this x will subtract with one of the x's here, and we'll just end up with an x. That's good. You all, you all okay with that? This y squared will react with two of the y squares here. So it's almost like you have two minus three, you'll end up with negative one, or the y, one of the y's here will live. Are you okay? Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? So we have the 3 going into the 21 seven times. We have the 4 going into the 25 times. X cancels with the X squared. We get X. Y squared cancels with the Y. Q, we get one of the Y stays alive. When the smoke clears and we, we look upon this, I mean, like, what is left? There's a 1 multiplied by the 5 in the numerator. So let's put a 5 here. And there's a 1 by a Y by a 7 by a X. 1 by 7 is 7. So this is 7 YX. But well, it's customary to put in maths, in maths, it's customary to put your x first. So 7x by y, 5 over 7x by y is the answer. Um, can this simplify further? No, it cannot. This is the best way to express this. Let's go on to page 5. <laughs> so page 5. We have a nice one in page 5, something a little different. We have a power 
Ta power. Power ta power. By the way, in the last in the last one, if you put seven y x, that's not wrong. Yeah? That's just weird. It's not wrong. So we have a power ta power. We have x cube. And then we say square up that. Essentially, what is happening here? Let's re let's replace the x cube by a two. So we could get a little on a little deeper understanding of what is happening here. We have two cube by two. This is saying two cube is two by two by two. And when you square a number, you multiply it by itself. So this is two by two by two multiplied by two by two by two. But really, this is just how many six how, how many twos multiply by themselves? Six twos. So this is two to the power of six. This is why when you when you take a power and you raise it to the next power, that's when you multiply these numbers. You multiply the powers. So it actually becomes two to the power of six. Similarly, this is x by three by two, which is x to the power of six. This one is the division straight up. So you have y to the power of eight, but they try to be a little clever here because they have y to the power of negative five. It's negative five. The rule still, still applies. You just need to be careful with your directed numbers. You'll have y to the power of eight minus from the division negative five. If I minus negative five, it comes like I'm adding. A negative meets a negative. They'll be like, oh, add time. And eight plus five is 13. So this is actually y to the power of 13. Another way you can think about this question is that you have y to the power of eight divided by one over y to the power of five. You remember that rule? A negative power can reciprocate into a positive power. And now I can switch around the division sign to a multiplication sign reciprocate like this. And essentially, I just have y to the power of 8 multiplied by y to the power of 5, which also adds the power to give me y to the power of 13. I hope you're all getting really comfortable with the ideas that we're talking about here today. Let's go on to page 6. I think I will do a little recap on quadratics as well today i have that in the tank so look out for that um some of you are struggling to, to figure out the quadratics really fast this one we can do some quick canceling and get to the bottom of this really quickly let me whip out the blue pen five will go into the 15 three times four will go into the 16 four times x and x just go on so at the end of the day you just end up with a three quarter We're running wrong here boy three quarter Wow. <laughs> All right. So one mark. I guess that's why they gave you one mark. Nothing big happened here. Let's go on to the next question. Hmm. So in this question, we have more uses of indices. They try to make the question a little more strange for us. But I think we can handle this. Find the value of r when x squared multiplied by x to the power of 6 is equal to x to the power of r. Who can tell me what r is in this situation? So they're basically asking you what happens. What law is this? This is the first law, right? It means x to the power of r must be the same, r, r, must be the same as x2 plus 6. You add the powers. Therefore, x to the power of r is equal to x to the power of 8. That wasn't what they asked us. They want us to know what the value of r. So, therefore, r is equal to 8. So, always ask. Always answer the question that is being asked. Uh, what in this one? In this one, you have s to the power of 3 is equal to 8. This is a fact. You should know this fact. 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. So s is equal to 2. So you should know this. This is something that happens all the time. 2 squared is 4. 2 to the power of 1 is 2. And um, I think everyone, I believe everyone may have tried this at least once. The more mathy people might have tried it much more times and reach higher numbers, but you would have been like 1 by 2 is 2, by 2 is 4, by 2 is 8, by 2 is 16. Kavita, and you tried that already. By 2 is 32, by 2 is 64, by 2 is 128. And you keep going up 256, 512, 1024, 2056. And there's a game um, in the app store. I think it's called 2056. You can download that game. A nice indices game day. Give a little share and think to play with that. Oh, wait, a little share and well, give yourself to play with it. So 2 cube is 8. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 2 to the power of 6 is 64. 2 to the power of 7 is 128. 
tinha sido 17 anos. CXC loves them, loves them. Especially this guy. This guy shows up a lot in sets in the multiple choice. Of course, you need to know this one as well. This one also shows up a lot. You see these two? Just facts that you should know. Big up the people with children. Ding, 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 ding. Where the question for this boy? It's on the next page. So I wanted to do a question that has... Um, uh, uh, we're on page eight. I want to do a question that has a, uh, what do you call this, a diagram and algebra entwined in one. And to see what, see if you can handle that, now, boy. And they wanted us to find an expression for PQ, that's the question, in terms of X. So they're saying in terms of X, find, find an expression for PQ. Tell me if all you could do that. Akiba, Brito, sir, I'm a whole adult. Well, I don't know. Next thing you is 10 years old and you're like, Daddy, he doesn't know anything on the internet. You know? 10 years old, I am a whole adult. <laughs> so if you feel you can find out what PQ is, let me know. You think you can find an expression in terms of X for the length PQ? PQ is this length here. Can you do it? Well, I'm, I'm assuming that if I draw this as a complete rectangle, PQ is this part here. That's the distance PQ. Why am I doing that? Because it's actually this whole length, MN. As I see what to do there now. So PQ is the missing part that from here now. And I already know this length here. I know the whole. I know this. So I feel it and can take away. Feeling that take away vibes. I feel in that PQ is the same thing as MN. All you watch your M is, watch your N is. M to N minus LR. You all understand? In the algebra, talk the algebra, talk not beating you up, right? So you seen it? PQ is really MN. Plus LR, which we know. MN is 3X. LR is X plus 3. Now there's something I should do here to be very careful. What should I do here? So I see a few of you all have this. What, what should I do? And you all got the wrong answer because you didn't you wasn't careful. Let me see if anybody get the correct answer. Oh good. Even the big even the big guns like Somali and thing get wrong on a you oh dear. This is supposed to raise your paws. You gotta put our brackets there, boy. You gotta put our brackets there. This is a substitution. And just because of that bracket, so what you're going to happen? This negative sign now has to distribute to both of them. So it's really 3x minus x minus 3. Christine was the first one to fix the answer. We just so you're going, uh, just so I'm not going to just be disappearing one time. Earlier, there will, there will be something in the exam with a negative sign to distribute like this. So be careful, right? Be careful. Be very careful. So this is 2x minus 3. That was crazy. All right. The next one they want you to figure out is RQ. So find the length RQ. Similar vibes here. Similar vibes here earlier. RQ is really what minus what? It's really LM minus PN, right? LM minus PN. So this is really 4X minus 5 subtract X plus 1. Agreed? So this is really 4X minus 5 minus X plus 1. Be careful this time and don't go and make the same mistake again. Nice. Probably and well done. So now we have 4x minus 5 minus the x minus the 1 as well. So you end up at 4x minus x, which is 3x. And minus 5 minus 1 is actually minus 6. Directed numbers on top. All right. Let's go on to the next question. Number 9. Uh, page 9, I should say. 
find an expression in terms of x for the length. Oh, sorry, next page. That was the that was the question from before. Oh gosh, we nearly done already, boy. Look, look at that. Given the total area of the shape. I don't know what this is for. This for the this for the question from before. They saying given that the total area of the shape is 414 centimeters squared, show that. Show that questions are audacious because they are giving you the answer here, right? So let's go back to the page eight. They are saying that the area is 414 cm squared, and they want us to show that something. Tell me if you can figure out how to show that whatever it is they want us to show. Um, x squared plus x minus 72 is equal to zero. x squared plus x minus 72 is equal to zero. Can you do it? Can you figure it out? And they're giving you a whole bunch of marks for this. X squared plus X minus 72 is equal to zero. Four marks. Very rare in CX. You'll see a four mark question. Do you, do you have a method? Do you have an idea? How would you find the area of a compound shape like this? This is, this is primary school thing to find the area of the shape. Ignore the X's. You would find the area of maybe this, this part here. And then add the area of this rectangle there. Or, or you could find the area of the entire shape and subtract the area of this, this rectangle here. Both ways will lead you to the answer. That's what you need to do. But just keep the algebra involved now. So let's work with this one. This shape is really, what's this length? We work that PQ is 2x. You see how if you had make a mistake here, going and transfer into the next part of the question. 2x minus 3 by x plus 1. That's the area here. We can call this A1. And the area for A2 will multiply this by that. Why is in the chat if you understand what I'm doing here? So I'll, I'll just put the multiplications here for now, and we'll go and work it out on another page. We have A1 is 2x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 1 this side by this side and then a2 is length by width now length by width um 4x minus 5 by x plus 3 and when we add up these two areas we should get 414. all right so let's go on to page 9 and see if you can we can work this out so the total area page 9 total area all right all right yeah we could go to page 10 too total area has to be a1 plus a2 and a1 was 2x minus 3 by x plus 1 and a2 was 4x minus 5 by x plus 3 But they told us that the total area is 414. So we're going to go bury for this and see if we could, come, we could come out with something respectable. All right. All right, people. Uh, let's put the 414 behind here. Because the X is one decide to begin with. So let me make we life a little less stressful. So we want to distribute. This is the expansion, the distribution that we were, we were, um, we was doing. We are doing this way. Yesterday. 2x by x is 2x squared. Let's do this in blue. We're going super mode now. 2x squared. Um, 2x by 1 is 2x minus 3x plus minus 3. Plus 4x squared plus 12x minus 5x minus 15 is equal to 414. Why is any chat if that making sense to y'all? We did this by this, this by this. Then we do this by this, this by this. Then we do this by this, like that. And then we do this by this, that by that, like that. So now we need to group the like terms. I am seeing some x squareds here and here. And those together make six x squared. Now that's, that's instructive for me there, six x squared. Then we'll have all the X's coming together. Yeah, this is one occasion where we'll bring our X's together. 
and then we will have the numbers doing their thing, right? And we're hoping for good things here. Yeah, hope for the best. Send good energies in here. So 2x squared and 4x squared is actually 6x squared. All right, I'm not trying to write with the highlighter right now. 6x squared. 2x minus 3x is negative x. And 12x minus 5x is 7x. So I got, I'm getting another 6x. That's good. That's good. You could check it out for yourself. Double check it for yourself. And now we have minus 3, minus 15. That's minus 18. And all of this is equal to the 414. Now, I'm pretty sure if I bring across the 414, um, it will switch to negative. So let's do that one time. And I'll end up at zero here. So that's all well and good. So you see now six here, but there's nothing there. You see now six here, but there's nothing there. This is a, that means it's one, one. And this is coming up to a number. Can you see what we need to do now? So this is turning into 6x squared plus 6x minus 18 minus 414 means I need to add the two together, which is 432. So this is minus 432 is equal to zero. So the final move is, Christ bless you, got it. Or cursed, blessed. What really going on there, boy? Don't tell me I misspelled Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so you divide by six, right? But at least you get the answer correct. You divide by six. So divide by six, you get x squared plus x. Everything will divide by six. And I'm hoping that 432 divided by six is actually... 72, well, you could double check that, equals zero, and just like that, we prove, we prove, prove, back, past tense of prove is proof, proved, past tense of prove is proved, proven, we have proven, why well, is called that tense, have proven, <laughs> we can use that tense, we have proven, <laughs> what is, um, I teach math, so I follow your English, register any student, top fan next teacher, right, QED, means quad erat demonstratum we have proven what we have been asked to prove this means what is to be demonstrated has been demonstrated what is to be shown has been shown let's go on to the next one. Oh gosh the next one is a biggie too i think maybe second to last for the day earlier so we needed to factorize x minus y squared This is from last. This is last. Last dating. Yesterday thing. I say I keep saying last week. Um, x y minus y squared. X y minus y squared. Factorize all the y. This is normal factorization, right? We get x minus y. X minus one. X. Oh no. X minus y. Y by y is y squared. So far so good. I look at double check more. We can see if I'm looking good. Day. This is the difference of two squares. Oh, you get something there, Kavita? Proof? Proof? Past tense of proof is proof? It was proven. X squared minus Y squared is... The past tense of proof is proof. But I think you had to pronounce it like proof. <laughs> I really don't know, boy. I had to talk to the English teachers, boy. What really going on with English, boy? Let's see why maths is the safe place to be. So this is x plus y by x minus y. So, and what they did is they say hence. From the time you see hence, you're supposed to put on your arm. Your Sherlock face and be like, hmm. So using the information from before. So using the information from before, we have this is really this. And this is really that. So let's do that. Let's do a beat and switch kind of thing here. So x plus y uh, x minus y now i'm getting ready to cancel i don't sense in a cancel vibes here this is the same as that we could cancel like that we can't play with canceling that one y without one y i don't do do destroy mathematics here come on have some some kind of respect here so you see how we multiplying these two yes this could cancel with this so in the end we're gonna end up with y over x plus y, and I think Naomi already got that some ages ago. Well done. 
All right, I think I'm going to make this the last question for today. Maybe tomorrow, please, God, I'll come back and we can touch on the quadratic setting. Um, what's happening here? We have x squared plus. So I guess this is, yeah, next page. Um, we have the similar thing here in this question, but it didn't give us any instruction, but we're ready for them. This is a quadratic without a C term. Quadratics without the C terms, easy to factorize, use basic factorization. This is the difference of two squares. So we are pretty sure that this is going to be x into x plus 7. And this guy is going to be x plus 7 by x minus 7. You all see how we get the same similar vibe happening here again? Similar vibe? Similar vibe. So x plus 7 crosses with this x plus 7. We end up with x over x minus 7. God is love. Just like that. Could rock back. So how these algebra sessions going? You all feeling like you're getting better in the algebra? I hope so. We still could hit them a little worded questions in algebra. We could hit them a little um, inequalities. We could hit them a little simultaneous equations as well. So um, let me see what going on here. Miss Nalini send me some. You know, I see boss here. We taking an early class today. Early class today earlier. Press like. See you tomorrow, 12 30 sharp. Once I bring my pen, on time. Love and blessings. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go to page 13 out of pain. My advertisements and thing earlier. TSH stands for what? The Student Hub. You need to know that for your maths exam. <laughs> and to contact the Student Hub, 868, well, plus one, 868 472 Don't know why I write any numbers so spaced apart. Use WhatsApp, don't call, use WhatsApp. And you can go through to get your books. You can go through to sign up for the crash course. If you want to talk to somebody, you just need to, you just need to hear, you need to let somebody know I'm going through it. Exams real tough. You can WhatsApp them and tell them too. They will give you a little advice as well. We have some nice admins. They will, they will pat you on the back and thing. Um, what else, boy? I know I'm forgetting something, you know. Giveaways, yeah, by giveaways. Uh, let me see, let me see a school. Uh, let tell me some schools. Day. Let me, let me give away something to like to two, two, three schools. You know, we do little giveaways here. This book, the formula book. Guayco, how far Guayco is? Guayco is where? I feel like I went Guayco. So let me hit them. All right, all right, that enough, that enough. Let me hit them at Guayco. Guayco is off us. And then who else? Pleasantville. Are they school schools from? Guayco, Guayco, boy. Pleasantville, sec. Guayco, sec. And Bonnie. No, no, baby. So that's the tree I see. Hey, no nap, nap skills. Samantha, nap skills as they do. Naps, naps. Naps. Gills. Hard luck day, fellas. Um, all right. So we're inside the love and blessing. So we'll send the formula booklet to these three schools. The form fives are they look out for it when they come out. Go in school and tell them. Show them. You can show them this clip. So see, the formula booklet is for we. <laughs> if he's not saying that is because I, I've, I've been to some schools where the principal, we donate the books to these students and the principal keep it and share it out to who I don't know who. But the book's not going to the students. Principals, they don't do that, please. We're sending it to the students. Love and blessings.